Hi, and happy Tuesday. I have the weekly readings for the week of January the 17th. Uh, and we had some very interesting things happening this week. So on the 17th, which was Monday yesterday, we had a full moon in the sign of Cancer. It was our first full moon of the year. And it was uh, accompanied by Pluto, the planet of transformation, and Uranus, the planet of uh, insight. Uh, and some other uh, planets that made it a more powerful moon. It was one of those super moons. And it brought things to the forefront in terms of our emotions. Full moons are normally good for completing things, letting things go, finishing things up so you can start anew. So it was in the sign of Cancer. Cancer is, deals with the home, it deals with family, it deals with personal security, it deals with personal needs, it deals with diet. So those themes of, um, you know, what it is that I need to do in certain areas of my life, pertaining to my, my personal needs and my family needs, they were on your mind and they still are on your mind for the next few days. So today, the 18th, we have Uranus, the planet of brilliance. It is the planet of brilliance, it is the planet of genius. It is a planet of sudden changes. It is the planet's uh it is the planet of insight intuition and it goes direct it's been uh, retrograde since August of last year. And so it moves forward and so now um our, our independent needs of being ourselves and moving in a different direction can happen and we're going to start with the sign of Aries. And Aries, your home is your focus. Changes can be made for greater comfort. And having more peaceful relationships with loved ones can be your aim for stronger bonds, for forming stronger bonds. You now have a chance to zero in what needs to be uh, uh, addressed in your home to bring uh, more solitude and a more comfortable environment. Okay, whether it's with you, yourself, or with those around you. Taurus, so Taurus, the planet Uranus is filling your brain with all sorts of fresh ideas. Your mind is empowered to develop projects that show big promise, big promise right now. Opportunities call to you, Taurus. Don't be afraid to pick up the phone and get a few suggestions from your genius friends. You have some brilliant friends. So this is a good time to call them and go over a few things. Be inspired to open new money-making situations and to open them without fear. Have no fear because you got a lot of cosmic help this year. So Gemini, um, you know, how you make money is constantly on your mind right now. You realize that in order to fulfill your dreams that you need more money. You need more money in order to do that to fulfill your dreams. You have a chance to review how you're using your current income. And once you do that, you're going to see where you can make some necessary adjustments to hold on to some money, to invest some money, or take some money and put it to greater good. And that way, things will definitely be prospering for you. This is what the full moon is bringing your way. Cancer, the full moon is in your sign. This is the, your full moon is in your sign. So you can see the future because this is the first full moon of the year. You can see the future. You are in inspired to see the future um, and because it is in your sign it inspires you to embrace a new vision embrace your new year's resolution with gusto and make them work for you you have the desire for a different direction another stops you for from dreaming for more desiring more or wanting more okay that is what's happening for you cancer leo time for a bit of stillness it's time for a bit of stillness Check to see if anything you've done or any person that you have spent time with is worth continuing. Anything you've done or any person you've spent time with, with ask yourself, is it worth my while to continue doing, uh, dealing with this person or doing what I've been doing? A deep lunar revelation strengthens your intuition and allows deeper insight. Be open to receive and accept what comes to you. There's going to be some messages coming to you, so be open and receptive to them. Virgo, you can't continue to ignore a dream you've had for a long time. The desire to try out, to try that dream out, grows stronger and stronger. It's a desire in your spirit. This is the season to test the waters, to see if your dream has wings. Does your dream has wings? Can it fly? Work out a plan and go after it because you'll just, you won't know, you'll never know unless you try it. So go ahead and work that dream, Virgo. Libra, you realize what it takes to be more successful and you have no problem in doing it. You have no problem. The moves you've made in the past may not be working as fast as you want, so now it's time to figure out some new moves. 
Be willing to try other ways. Your intuition will guide you. And it's going to guide you in the right direction because you have the power of the full moon. So go ahead and follow those intuitive directions. Okay, Libra? Scorpio, tweak your dreams for something more practical. Sometimes we want things and it may not be real practical. You may have to tweak them a little bit. You don't have the luxury of wasting time and you need to scale down a goal or two to make them happen a little faster. Don't worry about losing control of your dream. The time will come and you'll control a lot of your destiny, but you just got to get going. So you may want to revamp, retweak those dreams you have. Sagittarius, strong feelings can be revealed to a loved one. If you got someone, you got some strong feelings, they all of a sudden start, they want to come out and you want to express them, go ahead and express them. If you feel the need to share your feelings, go ahead. The tables have turned. The tables have turned. Letting that certain person know how special they are can change the temperature in your love situation. It only gets better at this point. So go ahead and tell them how you feel. Capricorn, you will now know if a loved one is meant to spend more time with. You want to know if the person you went is willing or necessarily, uh, you know, worthy of spending time with. Do I need to spend more time with this person? Um, love revelations inform you whether or not you have the depth or if this relationship can have a deeper situation. Um, if the connection is strong between the two of you, situations will grow. And if not, the whole relationship may go stagnant and you're going to be willing to let it go. But at least you will know the truth. So analyze your love relationship and just know whether or not you are, you know, not wasting your time with a certain person. Okay? You want deep connections right now. Aquarius, sharpen your organizational skills. Yes, comic energies are in your favor and you have to be ready to embrace anything fabulous that comes your way because opportunities are going to be coming your way, Aquarius. The energy of luck, listen, the energy of luck is with you, but you have to be prepared and organized to advance or to take the advantage of an unexpected opportunity. Be ready, be prepared, be organized. So when something presents itself, you can pounce on it and take advantage of an unexpected opportunity, okay? And Pisces, don't be afraid of showing everyone just how creative you are. If you got a certain flair, go ahead and show it. Express yourself in ways you've never uh, expressed yourself before if you feel the need. And don't worry about what other people think. Being a little flamboyant is good for your soul. Because, you know, sometimes y'all can be a little quiet or sometimes y'all can be creative. So this is the time to be creative. And you'll attract more admirers and there's nothing wrong with that. So if you would like to know how Uranus, how the Mercury retrograde, or how the full moon is affecting your chart, give me a, contact me at KimAllen.com, KimAllen.com, and I will schedule a reading for you. Have a wonderful week. Thank you.